Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, an Italian watercolor artist with a passion for art supplies. Today we are swatching together this product, this pan set by Derwen. It's the Pastel Shades Paint Pan Set and uh, I have received this in the incredible present that the followers sent me around Christmas with um, a lot of art supplies and uh, I am swatching all of them uh, once in a while. It was really incredible and um, we are swatching today these pastel shades. I am uh, quite a fan of Derwin products. I already have uh, the Inktense small set, the number one. There is a video about this. I will put the link in the info box. And also, I have had for a long time this uh, graffiti paint pan pocket, which is a wonderful product. And I have a video for these two. And I put the link of these two. So they're when it's really superior when they make uh, our supplies. So I'm very, very curious about this. Let's uh, get started. In their website, their went says that um, this is an ideal complement to the ink tense set. They have the same technology, they're ink based. And once you apply them, you cannot lift them. So you can uh, easily layer without lifting the paint underneath. So, but let's start seeing what's inside. There are 12 shades. I'm uh, usually not a big fan of pastel colors, but these shades are not the chalky pastel that you find in children paint. I think they look very interesting like this I'm very very curious to try them so it's a usual derwent box very sturdy plastic and uh, i will open it and start swatching because this is what we want to see right today it's very cold outside so i will uh, i have prepared some coffee some warm coffee to drink while I swatch, which increase the pleasure of being here with you, swatching my new set. I'll take some water and start. First of all, I think I will spray my beautiful new set. You see there is also a brush and a sponge, so to make it easier. And we take a brush because there is not much to say about pigments or composition. I think that the what I will do, I have doodled some uh, clothing and I will use the new set to paint these doodles. And also I will put uh, a little star just to check how opaque they are. Because I think they can be used, at least the website says, they can be used as gouache, so they can be quite opaque if you apply them in a thick layer, or maybe you can dilute them in a light wash. So we start with lemon. As all their when those are super easy to dissolve. And uh, that's a lovely lemon, lemon yellow. Yes, it has a matte finish. You see, it's opaque. You see it. Yeah.
thick layer on the side. I'll try to put a second layer here, but it is very opaque, it won't make a big difference. Okay. Then we go to peach. It's a very delicate peach. It's almost um, more an apricot. Coral pink. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't think that you can find such beautiful shades in uh, in the um, pastel shades that I have seen uh, in commerce. I had a small pastel set by Rubens, but uh, nothing to do with this. This is absolutely the delightful. The flow of paper is not the best because it dries very, very fast in a permanent way. I want it to dilute it towards the right hand side. But you see there's a hard edge that uh, it's difficult to dissolve. Okay. And then I go to pink flamingo. It's not maybe I should um, you know what pre-wet the paper you can dilute it to a light wash if you like you see this is what I'm doing next now that I have learned very pretty this is so pretty Now, with this orchid pink, I will try to apply some water first. And it's a, like an opera rose, a fuchsia. It's an opaque magenta, actually, or an opera rose. And yes, if you apply water first, it's, uh, it has a better flow on paper. Lovely, lovely, lovely. These colors are beautiful. Now one of my latest obsession and it is lavender. Oh, they re-wet immediately. It's incredible. It's incredible. This is lavender. Wow. This is a very nice lavender. I will soon, I think, make a video comparing different lavenders because it's a color that I'm using very much lately in watercolor and in gouache. By the way, I love gouache. I paint a lot in gouache. Are you interested in some gouache review? Let me know. And this is lavender, so delicate. Now we go to, oh, I forgot the dots. Now, a beautiful, muted, muted blue. Very lovely, this blue. It's like a periwinkle almost. 
تکی تلاحات Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Imagine for florals. Now, turquoise. Bluff. It dissolves. In, it's a breeze. It's incredible. This is very opaque. Now mint. Mint is a very very nice color. It's uh, this uh, pastel green, and I like it very much. Let's see if we can achieve a darker value. Now, my favorite, and it is, uh, let's add some water first. And it is a muted green, and it's called artichoke. Look at this. I made a Burberry trench, one of my favorite. Um, coats trench coat yes if you add water first uh, you can make um, nice radiance this. isn't it wonderful this is absolutely wonderful now, storm grey, the darkest in this uh, quite opaque. Yes, if you don't uh, wet the, the paper first, so if you work. Uh, Wet and dry, you get uh, hard edges. So if you don't want hard edges, you might want them, of course. It's your choice. You might want to pre-wet the paper. Okay. Now this beautiful silver blue and I'm wetting this nice sweater it's beautiful cold grey it's very delicate lovely very very delicate Diluted, you can use this for instance for white flowers. Okay, we let this dry, but I already see that it is absolutely adorable. This set, I like this a lot for doodles like this. This is more my cup of tea than florals, I admit. We let this dry and then we can try a sketch in the meantime. Okay, I have prepared a little sketch with the same subject. And I will take a smaller brush as well for details. 
and uh, let's get started so the first um, challenge is to mix uh, um, skin color but I think that this apricot can do the trick Now I will try to make some brown. Let me try. I'm not sure I can. I will try and mix some blue, some red. Let's see. Just need to add some shadow here, yeah. the glove, and then I think I'm finished. And I will add some shadow here. Yeah. Of course, the uh, light is from top, uh, top right. So the shadow is going to this direction. And uh, here we have our girl and this um, Pastel shades are just a wonder to use. They're really wonderful. I like them a lot. It was great fun. Now the little sketch is dry and uh, I'd like to know what you think about it. Do you think that uh, you would like uh, to use this uh, type of uh, pastel paint? Because I think it's very different from the traditional pastel paint. It's very superior to to the common pastel watercolor that you find that i don't like at all this is so subtle this is so soft uh, um it's muted it, it's incredible what you can do with this paint so the sketch i think came out quite nice and for uh, fashion sketching or little doodles i also intended to use this paint in my bullet journal that is a tool that i use very much I have a complicated life between art and my daytime job, which has nothing to do with art. I have a complicated schedule and family, so I like to keep track of all my duties in a bullet journal. And this is idea to decorate, ideal to decorate my bullet journal because it doesn't require too much water. And uh, this type of doodles is perfect for a bullet journal. These are the doodles, the swatches dry and I would just like to add my what do you call it in English OCD obsessive compulsive disorder about doodling I think I will add some a yellow bed 
yeah and uh, also I will add a yellow buckle here That's it. I was dipping the brush in my coffee. Okay, let's see if, um, first thing, I will see if color match the swatch card that they give you in the pastel set. And I think that uh, they absolutely match it. You need a white background. They absolutely match it. They're more beautiful in reality than on the swatch card and yes they all match it what do you think mint artichoke absolutely a realistic swatch card which is i wouldn't take that for granted colors are all lovely i have my favorite um this gray this warm gray is absolutely beautiful and also the subtle soft cold gray is nice lavender is um, adorable this peach is nice for flesh tones. I like this cornflower blue, which is a cool blue with a touch of purple. Turquoise very nice. And the artichoke is maybe this muted green is maybe my favorite, but they're all nice. I, I think that I would love to use them all. I'm not a big fan in my art of um, lemon yellow. I prefer warmer yellow. So if I could change a color, I would change uh, this one. But if you mix these two, for sure you can get the warmer shade. And um, look at all the beautiful transitions that you can reach. And this paper, I can tell you, is not the best paper. It's a notebook that I use just for swatches. So I give all my paint equal opportunities. And uh, I like this very much. I just saw that, I just realized that I misspelled there when, duh. so sorry. You might have noticed since the beginning, <laughs> how annoying. Okay, thanks a lot for having watched this uh, with me. I hope you liked it as much as I loved this. Uh, little set a big a huge thank you to the person who gave this to me to my follower and um, it was awesome to swatch this with you thanks a lot for uh, being and don't forget to comment if you knew this uh, set or other Darwin sets and to give me a thumb up if you have enjoyed this video even subscribe if you don't want to miss my next video thanks a lot and ciao ciao from Elisabetta I see you soon on this channel. Ciao, ciao.